Nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you. Bill. Nice to meet you, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I have uh, 10 minutes today, correct? Yes, 10 do minutes. Mind, mind if I have a seat? Yeah, please do. Make yourself Absolutely. comfortable. Uh, I'm going to actually take some uh, notes from my Yeah, that's here. fine. That's great. Uh, so as you know, uh, Jeannie has uh, set this meeting for us. Uh, I greatly appreciate it after talking to her uh, over the weekend when we had uh, we were watching some of the spring training with the uh, Red Sox. Nice. So are you interested in baseball at all? Oh yeah, I love the Sox. I'm a Bostonian through and through, so. So you follow, you follow all the teams, oh, the yeah. Patriots, even the Revolutions? Oh, not them so much, but. <laughs> I thought you said you're a true Bostonian. So. I guess maybe not not through and through, right? At least the Sox, the Celtics, and the, and the Patriots. But I used to I used to go to Revolution games when I was a kid, though. Okay. Yeah. Not too bad. From Foxborough, so. Oh, yeah, right, kinda, so you kind of have to kinda since have you to. live there. <laughs> uh, so what do you know about EMC? Um, I'm a little bit familiar with EMC. I grew up in the area, um, you know, like I said, and, and um, Franklin Savings is, is probably only about 20 minutes away from headquarters. Yep. So familiar with EMC and, you know, their sponsorship of, um, you know, at, at Gillette. Um, so I know them to be a pretty big company. Um, you know, you guys, uh, that's why I've never really taken any meetings with you. but. You know, Ginny said it might be a good idea. Um, so I guess that would be my biggest concern. You guys are a pretty big company. I don't know if you have anything to help us out. Oh, yeah, I can completely understand that. Um, don't forget all large companies started as a small company at one time. Uh, we primarily focus on my my section on small to medium businesses. Okay. So we're not talking about a Fortune 500 company. We're talking about, you know, the small mom and pops and this this small bank that and I hear that you're opening up a second branch. We are, yeah, we're opening up a second branch in Hopkinton. Oh, that's great, right? You know, right next to, uh, right near us. Yep. Uh, so this decision making process. Is there anyone else that uh, you'd like in here to get this uh, information that might be beneficial to this process? For today, it would be good just for us. Um, you know, I do a lot of the the, the first meetings and the research. Um, but you know, anything moving forward as far as any decisions, things like that. Um, Alex is my boss. He's our director of operations. Okay, so it's Alex. But yeah, and then Betty and George they own, they own the company and they make all the final decisions. They're very mm -hmm. involved. Um, but Alex would probably be a next step. Okay. Uh, so what kind of storage you currently uh, have? We used to our detached storage today. Okay. Um, that's the current environment that we have. We've used it for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, more of a traditional way of doing things, but we're very comfortable with it. Um, it's something that I'm comfortable with, and we have a small team, three people, so we all are really comfortable with managing it and um, you know how to implement it. So, but that's what we're doing today. Okay, and uh, when you normally have to get new storage, uh, how do you go about that? We just um, buy new servers when we need them. Um, if we need more space, then we buy new servers. They're not too expensive up front, so um, we haven't really ever had a problem with getting the approval for that. Okay, and how often are you doing that? Um, probably, it, it depends. I mean, we probably once or twice a year. Okay, once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. And how long does it usually take you to set it up and get it going? Um, maybe about a day. About nothing, a day? Nothing too bad, yeah. Have you had any uh, issues related to the direct attached storage? Um, yeah, I mean, we've had our challenges in the past, um, you know, hardware fails, it kind of happens, it's inevitable really. Um, we've been lucky enough that it hasn't been anything really detrimental to the business, um, no sensitive information, we've never actually lost information, um, just outages with some downtime really. Okay, that's not too bad, uh, so it seems that you are happy with it, but if there were items that you could change about the product or the current service that you're using, what would you want to do? Well, I mean, reliability is really important to us. Um, scalability is going to be important with the expansion. So our systems are working for us today, and we're happy with that. Um, but, you know, we have to take into account that with the expansion, we really don't have a plan. We don't know if our current systems are going to be able to support us moving forward. Um, so that's really something that we're thinking about um, and that we need to establish. You know, right now we're kind of at a standstill. We don't have a plan, we don't have a roadmap, so we need to establish that. Um, and I, we're thinking that a, a new solution might be the way that we have to go. Okay, are you familiar at all with the VNX system uh, that we provide? No, I'm not. Okay, uh, so pretty much it makes your storage so much easier, efficient, and affordable. Okay. Um, as the typical user face that you're using currently uh, is with the direct servers that are you know, attached directly to your system, and when you need more space, mm -hmm. that you just buy another one, as you did mention. Right. But every time you buy a new server, it can't spread its its memory throughout your entire system. Sure. Which is lacking. But with the uh, VNX system, we're going to change you to cloud computing for the most part. All your storage is going to be what is termed the cloud. So you will still have a couple of servers that are on site, but now all your file servers that will you just keep adding up, and with this second branch, 
who knows, you may actually have more and more customers and you'll have to keep buying servers. But with this way, it's all on the cloud. So it's secure, it's safe, and it's easy access for you. Okay. Seems a little complicated as far as, you know, it's something that we've ever really used before, so it needs to be something easy for us to manage. Well, you know? yes, with the, with the VNA system, it can be a set up in as few as 12 clicks, and the system is actually designed for an IT journalist. Okay. So it's not overly complicated, but we do have technical support, customer service, and we can bring all that on site to help when this could be purchased. Okay. Seems pretty interesting. Um, you know, like I said, I don't really have any decision making power, unfortunately. Um, you know, so you, your best bet would probably be to reach out to Alex and, mm -hmm. and, you know, for a second conversation and see if it might be something that he'd be interested in. So you feel Alex would most likely be interested in a system like this that could help save money and, and your time? Yeah, potentially. If it's going to save us, you know, the things that we're lacking today, then sure. Okay. Uh, how is like Tuesday of next week, about 11 o'clock, that my, so I could come back and I can talk with Alex? And I can also bring a technical support analyst with us that could maybe answer more of your in-depth questions about the entire system, and I can discuss with Alex some more of the other features. Sure, yeah, I mean, we can set it up tentatively. I'd have to double check with Alex and see if it would be something that he'd be interested in if he's available. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave you my business card so you okay. have all my pertinent information. So Great. if anything does change, we can uh, try to work our schedules together. Great. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Sounds your good. Time. You too. Thank, Thank you. you.